assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another tutorial and in this video we will see the basics of geo processing tools like clip dissolve merge and buffer tool analysis in qgis so in this layer you can see that i have a shape file of water and uh, that is representing the river canal and streams that are flowing in pakistan and uh, a shape file of punjab and some random points are also available just like this so first of all we will see that how can we use clip tool in qgis so we want to cut off all these uh, river and we want those river that are falling only inside this polygon so we can use a tool that is known as clip tool so clip tool will clip and extract only those rivers that are present in this polygon so for performing a uh, clip analysis you will need to go to a vector and then geo processing tool and with the help of this clip tool you can clip this uh, river from this polygon so make sure that your input layer will be your region of interest or uh, layer of interest that is water and uh, the overlay layer uh, from which you want to clip your input layer will be our Punjab boundary and then you can select output from over here you can save your file okay QGIS is also allow us to create a temporary layer instead of saving your data set and so uh, this temporary layer will stay in your table of content let's run this uh, tool and see what happened just close this one and all this one you can change the symbology of your uh, vector data set from over here like that and blue color and with some width of 0 0.6 just like this so all those even that are falling inside this polygon now cut down okay so after clip analysis we uh, let's go toward its attribute table and see that uh, okay jlm river if I will select this JLM river, then you can see uh, this JLM river is divided into different polylines, and we will uh, we want to merge all these polyline that are having the field of JLM into one line. So what we will do? So we can use a tool that is known as dissolve tool. Let's go to geoprocessing tool and dissolve. So we will dissolve all those fields that have same name in the name field so make sure to select your layer of interest and then which field you want to dissolve so we want to dissolve and merge all those fields that having the same name like jlm 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 in this field in the field of name just like over here so same name same and same will merge into one line and similarly will this will happen with all of these polyline so select your field and hit ok and next we will create another temporary layer and hit run button so now if i will go just change its color something like this and increase its width like this so now if i will make a may I go to its attribute table now you can see that all those uh, Sindh river that was uh, divided into different patches or different polylines are dissolved and merged into one polyline and okay similarly with JLM river all those polylines that were representing JLM river into different polylines are now merged into one single line and now we will perform a buffer analysis on this uh, point feature and a buffer will create a boundary around any feature like point line and polygon so for this firstly you have to change the projection of your layer and your data set so i am working on utm143 just hit ok and if you want to change the projection of your shape file then you can make a right click on your shape file and export your shape file as feature and from here output layer 
CRS will be uh, UTM zone 43 North and from here you can change the project uh, name of your shape file to projected Punjab and just hit OK and similarly for point feature projected point and hit the OK button and now we will create a buffer around these points so for this uh, go to your vector data and when you processing tool and then buffer and from here make sure that you have selected your point feature and then from here you can select the distance into different units like I want in meter so I want this in miles and we will create a buffer that will approximately 20 miles around our points and then from over here you can select the style of your uh, buffer boundary and then you can create a temporary layer and hit the run button and now you can see over here that a buffer a boundary around your point feature has been created by buffer tool so this all these boundaries are 20 miles from this point feature so if you want to measure uh, this one from over here to here manually then you can use a tool that is known as measure tool and from over here just select uh, my and uh, click on your feature and go toward the boundary and it is approximately 20 miles so just like this just close this one okay so now uh, just off these layers and I have a region of interest with the name of polygon and I want to merge this polygon with my uh, Punjab region so what should I do first of all I will change the projection into this one and I will use this Punjab boundary so both shape files having the same coordinate as our layer have so now I will use a tool that is known as um, okay union tool and give your input like uh, polygon sorry Punjab and then your polygon and uh, make a temporary layer and run this tool and see what's happened okay so after running this union tool you will get three polygons and first polygon is our area of interest that has intersect between these two boundaries and then the second polygon is representing the Punjab region and then the fourth polygon is representing the previous layer so this tool help to unite uh, two features so now we will again see another tool that is known as okay intersection tool will help us to uh, clip these uh, intersecting features so those regions that are intersecting with each other in this boundary and in this boundary will come into our output so make sure that your input feature will be the polygon and then Punjab and just run this tool so when you will off this tool now you can see that those boundaries that are in intersecting with our region of interest polygon and with Punjab boundaries are now available in output so union tool merge all those boundaries uh, of vector data set that you give into your output and intersect tool uh, help so here you can see the major difference between an intersect tool and a union tool union tool 
unite all the all the vector shape files and intersect tool uh, give the output of those boundaries that are intersecting with your two inputs in your processing tool there is an also a tool that is known as merge tool so recently we use a union tool that uh, divide our uh, that unite our uh, two uh, polygons and create three polygons into the uh, output so there is another tool that is known as merge tool so for merge tool go to your processing and then toolbar and then write merge over here and use this tool merge vector layer so then input layer will be your punjab and polygon and hit ok ok create a temporary layer and run this tool so now let's see that what is the difference between a merge and intersect so here the merge tool divide and merge both polygons and did not give uh, uh, another polygon that was intersecting as in union tool this like over here so if I will go to its properties then you can see the first polygon is representing the previous uh, the region of interest polygon and this one is the boundary of Punjab so both polygon are now merged with each another so many thanks for watching this tutorial and in next tutorial we will play with some last data set and we will see that how can you perform processing on your NAM data set. So many thanks. Take care. Allah.